fight, I get that fight. Y'all know if I can get that fight, I get that fight. I know I said I was my own. I, I know I said I was my own. Uh, promoter, that shit, that shit didn't count. Yeah. Hey, it's another one over there. You see it? And hey, what are you talking about? Not my dream. If I can get that fight, I get oh, that fight. Ain't nothing I can do about that. Right. Right. I gotta fight who they put in front of me, dog. Yeah. Yeah. And I've been working out. I was giving this shit. I'm ready. No, no, I ain't fucking with this. Yeah, see my shit. It's dry as fuck out here. He's taking to the little private beach if I want to. The current was to go so far. I ain't screwing that shit. I would've been dead. Another one! Another one! That's a seal! All right, man, y'all heard Jamal hit, man, Charlo. Man said, uh, you know, he can't call, he don't call the shots. You know, I told y'all nine, ten times already, these fighters do not call the shots of what goes on in their career. I don't care what what hashtag they have, what supposed promotional outfit they have of their own. They're tired of that, these uh, managers, these promoters, these networks, these guys cannot call the shots. Now, he's coming out saying he can't take that fight he, if he could right now. If he, he'd take it if he could. Uh, which fight he's talking about, whether that's the uh, Andre fight or whether that's the Benavidez fight, I didn't listen long enough to hear. I heard enough um, to come in here and state, state what I want to state, and that validates what I've been saying about a lot of these fighters. Now, with that being said, when these guys know that's the case, why come out saying all of this stuff about I'm my own boss, I can do this, I can do that, why come out and, and talk about fighting people knowing that you gotta ask permission to fight them and you gotta have things falling into place to make it happen? Why not go to those people first and try to address making the fight before you come out in public and say you want the fight knowing that you're not in a position to take the fight? You know, those are the questions that I pose. Like I've stated many times, I'm not gonna come on here and say Jamal Charlo's ducking these guys, but what I will say is that when you say certain things, and then your actions show something totally different or when you come back out and you say something um, polarizingly opposing to what you just said, it makes you look like you don't want to fight. It makes you look like you're just, you know, just talking to be talking. And, um, you know, Jamal has found himself under a lot of heat, a lot of criticism, a lot of fire because of statements he's made. It's not because people are just singling him out. Now, now don't get me wrong. There, are, there are some double standards. There are some, you know, people being a certain way toward him, but not having that same energy with other people, other fighters. So I do get that. But with all of that being said, you know, he has the fight that he has coming up with Montiel. Um, you, you see him getting ready for the fight. He says he's training for it. He, he's gonna be ready. That's the fight he has to take. And, um, you know, we'll see how what, what happens after that. We'll see how much he pushes the people who actually call the shots and makes the move, make things happen to get the fights that he says he wants. Because now he's saying he wants to fight Charlo. I mean, excuse me, uh, Andre. He's already stated what he said he'd do to him. He stated what he said he'd do to Benavidez. Um, for me personally, I prefer to see him in a fight with Andre because they're both champions at 160. And um, that's a good fight two top tier guys um let's see that unification that's all i got to say on the subject d-lo 404 boxing them out people